hey guys how are you welcome back to my channel this is reading addict in this video i will talk about my current read actually i am reading a couple of books but in this video i will only talk about one book that i uh, started yesterday i wanted to read this book for so long so you will not believe that before coming to canada i bought this book and then now here in Canada I have started reading this book so this book is not an ordinary book and I will not recommend this book to anyone especially weak-hearted people and especially to any reader I will only recommend this book to people who who have an interest in German history I just want to use this general term so the title of the book is as you can see it is Goebbels Goebbels is or was the propaganda minister of Hitler so this book is mostly mostly or I should say totally related to the time period of Nazi regime so the author is Peter Longridge 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 how will you pronounce that he has written other books as well he has written one book on Heinrich Himmler who was the Reich Reich Führer or the minister of the uh, but he, he he had he was the in charge of SS and also SA so that is separate we will not talk about Heinrich Himmler in this video we will just restrict to the introduction of Joseph Goebbels who he was so Joseph Goebbels uh, was born in a farmer's house or in a very small family in terms of uh, in terms of wealth but gradually he raised himself and be became the minister of propaganda under uh, Hitler's regime in this book so far I have read almost 100 pages in this book you will see Joseph's thought developing starting from his youth up to the middle ages and how he died in the end he committed suicide he was the only loyal person loyal only to hitler not to the world he was the only loyal person in hitler circle who committed suicide with his wife after hitler committed suicide so he had a very deep connection with hitler and most of the times throughout his career he had to uh, depend on Hitler's uh, applause, Hitler's blessing, Hitler's, Hitler's praises in order to move forward. There is one shameful fact that I would like to admit here is that and this is only from the, uh, only from the point of view of psychological relevance that I found his uh, mental composition not in regard to the uh, anti-semitism not in regard to the approach that he he pursued when he was the minister but before that when he was developing he he had a very dark mentality so when I was reading his traits, his characteristics, his personality, I found an exact similarity with my personality as well. I am relating this fact just for the purpose of comparison and though I um, uh, like not for any other reason, I know how sensitive the topic is, but like he, he pursued he believed in isolation he remained aloof so those qualities 
I have found in myself and I have accepted and incorporated those traits uh, uh, with with much difficulty but this is the fact that this is reality so it cannot be changed so and that's the reason that I am reading this book very consciously trying to absorb as much information as much information as possible so that I don't miss even a single tiny fact of Joseph's personality though he was a monster but I think everybody can learn from a monster as well so I will update you more on this I don't want to update I don't want to talk about the story but um, it's a dark book and as I as I have already mentioned that I'm not recommending this book to anyone so I will talk about another book that I am reading in more detail and there we will talk about it